students, myself, Ankit Parikh. I am teaching Maths and Science in ETS secondary section. Today we are going to study Maths chapter number five, Arithmetic Progression. Before starting the chapter, uh, let us give some introduction regarding progression. In nature, also you might have seen many patterns, like the petals of the sunflowers, also the grain on the cob, also you might have seen the pattern on the pineapple, also the holes that are seen or observed in honeycomb, these are the natural patterns that we have seen. Now, in some maths, let us take one example, suppose the salary of a person, that is the monthly salary. is rupees 8000 and he has given an increment of rupees 500 annually. So, your annual increment is rupees 5000. Then the salary after first year that is of second year will be 8500 for third year it will increase to 9000 and so on. For another example suppose we are given a pattern of number like 1 square, 2 square, 3 square and so on. This is also a type of pattern or a progression of number. Another examples like taking odd integers 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. These are the examples of our pattern or that is found in maths. Here we are going to talk about arithmetic progression. So, what is arithmetic progression? Which pattern is considered to be an arithmetic progression? For that, Okay, now suppose we are taking this integer of odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7. In here you can see the difference between this first and second number is 2, second and third is also 2, between third and fourth is also 2, this fourth and fifth is also 2. So, every time the difference between the two consecutive term is observed to be 2. Taking another example, suppose 43, 40, 37, 34 and so on. If I say here the difference between the two that is the first and the second term is 3 as it is decreasing we can say it is minus 3. Here also there is a decrease of 3 so that is minus 3 between the third and the fourth term is also minus 3 then such terms are said to be in arithmetic progression that we call an AP. So, what is an arithmetic progression? An arithmetic progression is a list of number in which the number increase by a fixed number that is called an arithmetic progression where the number increase by a fixed number. And we call this fixed number as a common difference. This common difference it can be positive, it can be negative, it can also be like here the difference is 0, it can also be 0. So, this is called your 
arithmetic progression. So, what is an arithmetic progression? Again, it is a list of number in which the number or each term increase by a fixed number that uh, is called an arithmetic progression. The fixed number is called your common difference which can be positive, negative or even 0. Now, let us take one or two example regarding our arithmetic progression. Is the following an AP or not? First, 3 minus 1, 1, 3 and so on, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 3 and so on. First of all, find the common difference. So, that is your second term minus first term that is a 2 minus a 1 minus 1 minus minus 3. So, that is minus 1 plus 3 the difference is 2. Check the third term minus second term. So, that is 1 minus minus 1. So, 1 plus 1 that is also equals to 2. Fourth term minus third term. So, that is 3 minus 1 which is 2. So, here you can see that the common difference is always 2. So, it is an arithmetic progression an AP. Let us take one another one example more 1, 3, 9, 27 and so on. Now, here a 2 minus a 1 that is the second term minus first term which is equals to 3 minus 1 that is 2. The third term a 3 minus second term that is 9 minus 3 6. Here you can see that the common difference occur is different. So, no need to calculate any further this is not an A P. It is not an A P means arithmetic progression. So, from here we can say that for the general term how you can express an arithmetic progression in general. So, A P is A, A plus D, A plus 2 D and so on. This is the arithmetic progression. Now, for the nth term, of an A P. Here you see that the second term is A plus D. So, we can write that A plus 2 minus 1 into D. For the third term, it is A plus 2 D that is a plus 3 minus 1 into d. Fourth term that is a plus 3 d it can be expressed as a plus 4 minus 1 into d and so on. Uh, using the same pattern we can also express the nth term that is a plus n minus 1 into d general form of arithmetic progression where your a is first term a is your first term d is common difference 
which is equals to an minus an minus 1. Now, let us take one example to how we can use this general term. Okay, now let us take one example, find the tenth term of an AP that is 2, 7, 12 and so on. So, in here first of all your A that is your first term which is equals to 2, D that is the common difference that is second term minus first term that is 7 minus 2 which is equals to 5 and you are asked to find the tenth term. So, the term n equals to 10. Now, general formula a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. Here your n is 10. So, a 10 is equals to what is a? a is equals to 2. So, put 2 plus n as I have taken n. So, that is 10 minus 1 and the common difference is 5. So, this is 2 plus 9 into 5. So, that is 2 plus 45 which is equals to 47. So, this is how we can find the nth term of an AP. Now, in this AP, now let us find another formula that is for sum of terms of an AP. As we know our AP that is A, A plus D, A plus 2D and our nth term is A plus n minus 1 into D. If we are asked to find the sum of terms, the sum of terms of an AP it is represented by S. So, S equals to A that is a first term plus A plus D plus A plus 2D plus till the nth term that is A plus n minus 1 into D. This is how we used to find the sum of terms. Now, if we are asked to find the formula that we can derive for this consider this equation 1. Again write S, but now I will start from the last term that I will ask the, write the last term first that is A plus n minus 1 into D. This is our last term, this is the last term. The second last term it will be A plus n minus 2 into D plus your second term that is A plus D plus your first term that is A. Give this equation number 2. Now, adding your equation 1 and number 2 that is S plus S which is equals to 2S equals to. Add this first term and this last term a plus a that is 2 a plus n minus 1 into d plus the second term and this second last term that is a plus a it is 2 a plus d plus n minus 1 into d. So, 1 d is added. So, that will make n minus 1 into d till if you take the last term again a plus n minus 1 into d plus a. So, that is also a plus n minus 1 into d here. So, we got S n is equals to as this is your nth term. So, we can write n times 2 a 
plus n minus 1 into d. But we just want the sum of the terms here it is 2s. So, your s equals to n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this is the formula to find the sum of terms. It can also be written in other form also for that here given to us is n by 2 into 2a. So, I split that a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. This is n upon 2 a plus what is this? A, a plus n minus 1 into d is nothing but our last term and that we used to write as a n. We can also write the last term as l also. Here your a is first term n this a n is your last term which can also be written as l. So, we can write the same formula s is equals to n upon 2 into a plus l where l is your last term. So, using this formula let us consider one example regarding it. Find the sum of first 22 term of an AP 8, 3, minus 1 and so on. So, here your AP is 8, 3, minus 2 and so on. So, what is use this formula S equals to n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, we need to find a. What is a? a is nothing but our first term. So, that is equals to 8 d that is the common difference when second term minus first term that is 3 minus 8 this is equals to minus 5. We are asked to find the sum of first 22 terms. So, here your n is equals to 22. Now, apply the formula n s equals to n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d n is 22. So, 22 by 2 2 a a is equals to 8 plus 22 minus 1 d is minus 5. So, cancel 2. So, this is 11 into 2 into 8 16 plus 21 into minus 5. So, that is equals to 11 into 16, 16, 21 into 5. So, that is minus 1 0 5. So, this is 11 into subtract this 105, 16 from 105 that is equals to 80 minus 89. Now, multiply this with 11. So, it is minus 979. 